Okay, example 11, factor by grouping, ax squared minus ax plus bx minus b. This is as basic a factor by grouping problem you can get. Uh, the second one's a little bit more complicated on purpose. But anyway, factor by grouping in general uh, is just you group up things that factor in some way, shape, or form. Usually we deal with greatest common factor factoring for our factor by grouping, but it could be other types of factoring also, like a, there could be a difference of squares within there. You might, might group up a difference of squares, factor that as a difference of squares, and then the rest of it also. I pick problems that are greatest common factor because this is something that it doesn't really happen much in class, but it's a topic that, that's going to be covered at some point in time in your life as long as you stay in math classes. So just to keep you fresh on that topic, I, I do these in here. Um, at AX squared minus AX, we're looking for a common factor within the group, and that would be AX for this first group. When I take AX out of AX squared minus AX, I'm left with X minus 1. And remember, if you take out the entire common factor, you're left with a 1. Uh, the second group, we have bx minus b, the common factor of those two is b. If I take a b out of both objects, I'm going to be, going to be left with x minus 1. And at this point, we have a binomial. This is term 1, this is term 2. And what you're supposed to notice about the binomials is they have a common binomial factor of x minus 1. So what we do then is we do one more greatest common factor. We're extracting x minus 1 from each term. And we're going to be left over, if we take x minus 1 out of the first term with an ax, and x minus 1 taken out of the second term leaves me with a plus b. And these things are being multiplied together. I've seen people in the past want to put pluses or minus between there. But we're taking something out. We're going to multiply by what's left over. Just like I took the ax out, I multiply by what's left over. Make sure that's the multiplication of those two. And do make sure parentheses around both groups. And that's the answer. That's how you factor by grouping. Again, basic level factor by grouping problem.